Hey Libra, this is Moon Pie doing your end of January love reading just to see what the last two weeks might be holding for Librans, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Okay, so let's take a look at the energy for Libra, see what's going on. What's up with you guys? Hold on, I just want to fix my camera a little bit. Okay, Libra, Libra. Let's take a look at the your energy and then the person you might be connecting with. Okay. Oh, two cards. Oh, nine of swords. Sorry, these are crinkly because of I put up this cute little frame. Um, nine of swords and the eight, ace of pentacles. So what this tells me is, honestly, somebody probably made an offer to you at some point about like, you know, gifting you with something or trying to connect with you and have like, um, oh, I feel like maybe around the holidays or somebody made an offer or uh, gave you a gift or a present or something. And, um, and they did it because they were um, high anxiety. Um, they felt like they were going to lose you. Maybe something came up where that was uh, on the table or you were giving up, but there was a possibility that something was going to be over. So I kind of feel like whatever it was that, that was offered to you, it came through in vain. Okay. Because they were trying to hold on to you and they, they didn't want to lose you. Okay. Um, a lot of stress and anxiety about that. Uh, what they tried to offer you was proof. Um, it was almost as if they were told, or maybe you told them, I need proof that, you know, we're going to be together. Or we're going to do this. So it came through that way. All right. So Libra and energy here, justice, they felt they were doing the right thing by giving to you um, what they felt like maybe it was best to do, okay, to um, try to prove themselves. But honestly, I feel like this person, so when I say did it all in vain, it's more like they knew they probably were going to lose you one way or the other. And they really had to like up their game or do something, maybe offer like proposal for marriage or to go elope or to, you know, get married like through the court or justice of the peace, that kind of thing, like a legal thing. Why do I feel like my camera keeps slipping down? I'm sorry. Um, or you could have been dealing with another Libra. Okay. So this was something they felt in order to be happy and satisfied. Um, they might've felt like they were losing you. So in order, they feel like they're losing you. So in order to like get their wishes and their contentment and have this is a very smug look on their face. So whoever the person was that you were dealing with, I'm going to be straight up. I feel like it was done in vain. I feel like the things that they were offering or the gifts or whatever was trying to sweeten you up or um, listen, even if they didn't actually give you something, it, they, they showed a potential for something to happen or a potential to prove themselves, but it, it never really panned out or it just didn't come forward the way you thought it would. Okay. And, and they thought maybe that would satisfy you. That would keep you like they say something to you that kind of leads you on like, oh, there is potential for us. Oh, it can happen. Oh, let's make this happen. But it was all done, like I said, in vain, because look how vain he is. Like he just sits there, right? With this smug look on his face. All right. So that's the energy of the person you, whoever you're listening to this reading for. I'm feeling like that was their energy. Now let's take a look and see what, what's going on with you here. All right. Yeah. You just kind of close the book. You're like, sorry, player. <laughs> I'm moving on, you know, um, starting a new chapter in my life, starting a new cycle. I'm ready for new love. I want new start, new beginnings. It's 2020. I'm ready for a new year. Valentine's day is coming. I want, I don't want any potentials. I'm not looking for broken promises or to be strung along about anything. I want the real deal. You know, um, you're looking back and, and you're basically saying, um, kiss my ass while I'm walking out the door. You're basically just like looking to make sure they see you shaking your butt as you walk out and as you leave, because whatever they gave to you was just, it wasn't enough for you. And you were like, mm -mm. okay, so <laughs> you do kind of would like to reconcile with this person in some way, or, um, you might, there might you might try to um, just say, okay, we'll just be friends or what have you. But I think you might do that out of a sense of like you, you don't want to be judged for being a harsh person because you're a very friendly person and you would try to reason why it is that they didn't want to really connect with you in the way that you were hoping. 
Um, so you might say, well, okay, fine, maybe you're busy or you just don't have time. We'll just be friends, you know, like reconciled that way, right? But um, I also feel like here for you, you are going to put effort into your work at this time or put effort into doing the things that you feel like you're staying focused on yourself. You're not staying wrapped up in this situation anymore. You're just kind of like, we could just be friends. There's no reason why we just can't be friendly with one another. We shouldn't dislike each other for whatever reason. It's fine. It's good. I'm going back to work. Take care. Have a great life. <laughs> And then boom, everything shifts. What shifts in your life? All right, yeah, they don't like that. So now they start stalking you or they start messaging you. What are you up to? Where are you going? What are you doing? Okay, they're watching your social media. They're watching you. Maybe if they live by you, they're driving past your house or going to your work or something like that. They're talking to friends or people that you guys have in common, want to know what's going on or, or what you're doing, right? And you're just like, and it's a shock because you find this out and you you're just like, holy crap, you know, I, like for real, you, you string me along, you give me all this potential and you say that something is possibly going to happen here, but then you don't do anything. You don't, sh there's no action taken. You just say you're going to take action. There's no action taken. And now you're stalking me. And now you want to know where I'm going and what I'm doing. And that's why you're kind of like shaking your butt, like watch my butt as I walk out this door. Okay. Aquarius energy here. We have, um, Scorpio energy here, Scorpio energy with judgment, um, Taurus, Leo energy for some of you. Okay. So <laughs> you know what? You might be dealing with someone who's like a star or they sit in a place or a position of fame or you are, or you're just in this place where, you know, I'm following God. I'm following what God wants me to do. I'm following my faith. I'm, you know, I'm staying hopeful about love. I don't really feel like, you know, I feel like you're looking at this person and you're just like, if you don't come forward and you don't give me the truth, don't give me this hope. If you don't come forward and give me like actual action, not what you say you're going to do, but what you're going to do, then, you know, I'm fine. I'm going to nourish myself and keep doing what I need to do. So you will get some communication from somebody. Um, fire sign is very, it's immature. They probably will message you and say, Hey, let's go do something. Um, Hey, let's go do something. But you're just, mm, you're kind of like, mm -mm, I don't know. Is this a real thing? You're going to ghost me again. So, so the bottom line is your messages for the end of the week is there, there is going to be communication from this person. Um, after they, after they play these little games with you, they're going to try to reconcile with you and you might just tell them you want to just stay friends for now. Um, and then they are going to try to tr track you down or like chase you or try to get you to like come back into their web of lies. So just be on guard Libra at the end of, um, January, the last what, 10 days or what have you. And just be on guard of this energy. All right. I'm going to leave your reading there. Check your February uh, monthly love readings are already uploaded. So I will see you soon. Bye.